Hello everybody, it's Vertical Sandwich. Welcome back to Let's Play Assassin's Creed 2. We... <laughs> I didn't mean to jump in the water there. I really didn't. I want to see where this line of posts lead. There's like a line of posts here. And uh, I want to see where they go if I... <laughs> okay, maybe we can't step on those. I don't know. I thought I, I thought I was doing a good a good job stepping from post to post earlier. Yeah, I can step from post to post. Oh, but I can't make the jump to that one. Well, okay. We'll just go back. You, you kidding, dude? Maybe I shouldn't play in the water. Okay. I want to go back to my villa. I'm just a simple man. I'm just a simple man. Well, me too. I don't even know where I'm headed. Not the right direction. Should have known. So we're pretty much in great shape as far as clearing out cities go, I will say that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know, I know, I know. You're mad about stuff and you don't like your job and you don't like punks like me not respecting you and whatever else. But the problem is I don't care. What I want to do. Let's travel to my villa. Empty the chest in my room. Get a bunch of money. Spend that money improving the villa and buying new weapons. Or at least new armor. And then I will be more than happy. Which, by the way, you should all be proud of me because in that last video, when those guys were attacking me and I had to chase the other guy, I used the break, the quick escape skill that I learned in training to quick escape. That was why I was able to unlock the run command. I just thought you'd all be pleased to know that because usually... Most of my combat in here has just been hacking. Because you don't really have to do much else. So I just collected $10,000. Buongiorno. Salute, Ser Ezio. Shall we take a look at the list? Wow. Definitely want to renovate the blacksmith. Hmm. I don't particularly care about the the tailor and the doctor, but I can knock those up to level threes really easily. So now it's actually a pretty easy calculation to figure out what I need for everything else. So I need 12,000 for the blacksmith, 9,000 for the bank for a total of 21,000. And so, th so 29,000 will actually get me everything I need here. But we did just knock the value of the place up $13,000. Salute, Claudia. You here to look at the book? I am. Which means, literally, uh, if I let this chest fill itself up, 
Like five more times. So in like an hour and 20 minutes, I can max out the income from this place. And that doesn't even include what I, what I get for like regular missions. So let's go look at the codex wall because there's more we can put on there. All right. This actually looks about right to me. I think that might go that way. I'm not sure. I mean, I think very clearly this is a the, the left hand side is a map of North and South America. The right hand side looks like it it's some sort of map of Europe. But it kind of gets a little crazy there in the middle of this piece. Might go that way. That doesn't make any sense. Yeah, what if that's the... Uh, that can't be. Well, this one goes that way, clearly. See, that one seems to go that way, but then that doesn't make any sense for this. There we go. Okay, so then that's clearly Africa. There we go. That's the that's what we're looking for, right there. So then that's Europe and this is Asia kinda. This the I think the piece I have he, right here is wrong. I think it goes there. And then there's a the missing one here will show India. And then Australia is down here. It is. It's a map of the world. It is what it is. And there's only 11 more codex pages to find. So that's great. What is this crazy symbol? Oh, I know. Okay. So this is when we go down to... Through the library and we go to the tomb. Which is a thing I didn't do. And I should. Okay, that was not the one. It was this one? Well, there we go. Did we also release a butterfly? Was it an illusory butterfly? Was it a spirit butterfly? No, there's, they're just there. This place has a moth problem. Okay. Good enough. That symbol that appeared was still creepy. <laughs> like, it was still weird. My income is zero florins. That's not true. My income is a lot of florins. Get that stupid text off the screen. My income is my income is plenty of florins. Plenty. A great metal work here. Bring me your sick and wounded. I really glitched out the game, I think. Can I go in this place? 
Oh, hey, my zero income box disappeared. Good. Because I'm still curious about this treasure chest. That's really what it comes down to. I've done everything I can in this stupid town. So is this tower climbable then? This is what I really need to know. Well, it looks like it is. Okay. Well, that takes care of that. Man, I would love to get every chest out of here. What do I have left? What do I have left for chests to get out of here? Two along the wall? Let's do it. Because we can run the wall the whole way there. Because I'm sure they're in towers. And then just the one in the villa. And I don't know what to do about that. I don't know that that's gettable yet. Don't try running up the archway. Please, Enzio. Or Ezio. Okay. <laughs> All right. One more. Get down. Wow, these were so easy. <laughs> Oops. <laughs> All right, cool. All right, the last treasure chest on the map is in the villa. So let's go look. And now there's $6,600 in the chest in the villa. That's awesome. Well, I can hear it. How can that be? How could I hear it over there? I can see it through the... But how to get in there? Can I get in there from over here? Or is there something that happens later that'll open this area up, like the place gets attacked or something? I mean, I know where it is. Or do I get into it from inside? That's the other possibility. 
we're going to go for the you get into it from inside possibility I think check that out no you don't get into it from inside apparently that's fine I'm actually not going to spend this money on improving this place. I'm going to go spend it on armor. I am, I am. Because I want better armor. And then that'll conclude this video. And when we come back, I will be ready to do crazy things. Like, apparently go blend into a crowd and fight somebody during a, a church mass? That doesn't seem right, but... Armor! We have Leather Greaves right now. We have those. That chest guard. Two pl and four. That actually looks better than that other one. Eh, whatever. Yes. And yes. Okay. Weapons. Do I need a war hammer? I mean, I don't think so. Yeah. Child. Okay. I have st I have twelve squares of health now. I jumped up the villas the villas uh, value by 635 points by spending money <laughs> and now I'm just goofing around like very literally just goofing around just goofing around see if somebody like me can travel around a city in a game like this, like this, and make it look like halfway decent, you know it's idiot proof. Like, that's the bottom line. Yep. What, jump in the hay? It's easy. Just jump in the hay. See? Back into the hay. See, just like that. Must be a drunken wager or something. Yep, then out. Back in. Then out. Bizarre. What's with him? It is bizarre, but I own this place, so whatever. Well, I, don't, I guess I don't own it, but I have put a lot of work into it. I have $1,934. So now we're going to have to start doing things like buying paintings and such. I mean, we still need $30,000 for renovations. But at this point, uh, yes, the next thing we'll be doing is the mission I've never done. So at this point, we'll be stopping the video. And when we come back, I will have practice filed ahead of this so that I know exactly what I'm getting myself into. I'll see you guys for that, and bye, everybody.